It's a very important relationship to how the brain works. In uh, brain research, we study the, uh, what's called the EEG, which is the vibration activity of the brain. As adults, we have uh, very high and low ranges of activities going on all the time. But in our development, we jump from lower to the higher, to the higher, to the higher vibrations over time. For the first two years, from before birth to the first two years, uh, we are in the lowest frequency. Okay, from two, this is for, for, an, for an adult, delta is like sleeping or unconscious. But for a child, it, the child is not unconscious, but it, the, because the child can't make a response, it, it is like behind a, a window watching the world but can't respond. From two until six, there's higher activity called theta. When we're in theta, it's like imagination. That's why children between two and six mix the real world and the imaginary world in their play. When the child gets to six, then another level starts called alpha, which is calm consciousness. When the child reaches 12, it can express all the ranges from delta, theta, alpha, and this is like schoolroom consciousness, beta. The most important point, consciousness, the way we think consciousness, is not available to the child until after six. The first six years are pro the programmable state. The reason is this low activity is called the hypnagogic trance. So when you, uh, if I want to hypnotize you, I have to take you from higher levels into lower levels, and then I can put information into the subconscious, which is in here. This is an important reason for this period. This is a period of enculturation. A child has to learn thousands and thousands of facts about how to fit into the family and to society. And so the, the uh, nature doesn't give the child consciousness to, to create new things. It just gives it the brain activity to download facts. Uh, people are familiar with the Jesuits would say, give me a child until six years of age and it will belong to the church for the rest of its life because whatever goes in the first six years is the first structure in the subconscious mind the the child is in a state of super learning a child uh, between zero and six can learn three languages at the same time but after this period if you try to teach a child just one language it's difficult so this period in our life is where we learn the fundamentals of relationships, connections, family, and community. So like the chimpanzee, whatever the baby sees, experiences, or, or learns from the family, it goes right into the subconscious brain. And this is also the period where we learn self-identity. Who are we? What parents tell us we become. So if parents tell us we are smart and bright and lovely and wonderful, that goes into the program. But if we are told we are not nice people or we're not smart or we're not pretty or we're not good, that goes into the program. So for example, in a store when a child is throwing a tantrum because it wants a toy and then the parents say, you do not deserve the toy, then the, is, that is the program I do not deserve. But once it's in the subconscious, it's recorded like a tape player. And the rest of your life, the subconscious will play, I do not deserve. I do not deserve. So that the programs that we acquired in the first six years shape how we live our life. But this is all below consciousness. So you, ha you may not know the programs you received because you were not conscious really during this time period. But most of us, most all of us have received a program of not good enough, not, you know, not, not the best we can be. Okay, now let's talk about the, the next part. The mind has two parts. The subconscious mind is the original brain and it can process 40 million 
bits of data from the environment every second. The mind is very powerful and very fast, but it's totally habitual. It's not creative. It can only play back what it learns. In evolution, the front part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, gives rise to consciousness. It's a small piece of the brain that is consciousness. Self or consciousness is an add-on option, and most people don't exercise the option. But note, it, has, it can process only about 40 bits of data per second. The subconscious mind is one million times more powerful. While the subconscious mind is fast, the conscious mind is slow at processing. That's why when you're in an emergency or stress, the, you operate from this one because it can operate fast and handle lots of data. But the difference between the two is this is habitual. It is the conscious mind that is creative and can generate free will. Just to give you an idea of the difference between 40 million bits and 40 bits, I'll show you the next picture. Imagine this picture has 40 million pixel dots, which is like one nerve, uh, you know, each nerve going into the subconscious. How much, if you open your eyes, how much of this picture does the conscious mind see? That much. So uh, I put a, the, that much, 40 <laughs> pixels. Well, the conscious mind is only aware of this much. The subconscious mind is handling all of the other information. The conscious mind can control anything in your entire body. They used to say there were parts of our body that were involuntary control. But now we know that's, that's not true. For example, yogis can regulate their heartbeat, their blood pressure, or body temperature with conscious mind. So while the conscious mind can only handle a few things, the subconscious mind can do many, many thousands of tasks at the same time. Now, recently, neuroscientists are talking about how your unconscious really shapes your life, your decisions. What they say, according to cognitive neuroscientists, we are conscious of only about 5% of our cognitive activity. So what this means is every day, and 95, excuse me, uh, 5% is high. They say that most people, 1% of their day is in the conscious mind. So every day, you, you create only from your creation mind, your conscious mind, only about 1% of what is going on in your life. And therefore, 95 to 99% of your life comes from your programming in your subconscious mind. So what this means is maybe uh, you were the child in the store and your parents said you do not deserve. 95% of the day, you will sabotage your life to make sure you do not deserve. And the reason why is the subconscious job is to create reality out of the program. And so therefore, if you have negative programming, 95% of the day, you will create that negative experience in your life. Now, here's the problem. The conscious mind and the subconscious mind work together. So whatever the conscious mind focuses on, it can control. But what it's not focusing on, the subconscious mind controls. So most of our day, we are thinking about the future or thinking about the past. That's with the conscious mind. So if the conscious mind's not paying attention to right now, then everything you're doing during the day is being run by the program that you got. But the problem is, because your mind is not, the conscious mind's not paying attention, then it does not see the program being played by the subconscious mind. I'll give an example. When you first got you in the car with a driver permit, you didn't know how to drive a car, so you were very conscious of everything, watching everything as you were trying to drive. But now you've driven for 10 or 15 years. And you might be like me. I can have a passenger in the car, and my conscious mind will be in, in a conversation. And I'm driving 10 minutes, and then I look out the window. 
and I realize I didn't pay attention for the last 10 minutes. Did anybody else do this besides me? <laughs> the lesson, if I said, describe your driving behavior during that 10 minute period, you would say, I don't know, I didn't see it. This applies to all of our activities every day. I'll give one more example. If you know somebody and you know their parent, and you see that this person's behavior is just like their parents, and then you say to your friend, Mary, you're just like your mother, then Mary will say, what, are you crazy? Why doesn't Mary see she is like her mother? Because when she's playing that behavior, she was not paying attention. So she doesn't see that she's playing the behavior that she was programmed by through her mother. So most of every day, you are not playing programs that you personally want. You're playing programs that you got from other people. But you didn't see those, pay, those programs. So when your life doesn't work, you say the, the universe does not support me. And yet the truth was, it was your own invisible behavior that sabotage you. So what's important is some people say, well, maybe I just do some positive thinking. Which, which mind does the positive thinking, conscious or subconscious? The conscious mind, which works at 5% a day with a 40-bit processor. And when you're doing your consciousness, are you paying attention to what's going on? Those Who's are... running the show? The experiential programs from the subconscious mind, and that is 95% of the day with 40 million bit processor. Does positive thinking work? Do the math. And the issue is that it's very difficult to take a small processor and overpower the large processor. And you have to use what is called willpower with the emphasis on power to override. Now here is the second catch or the second problem. The subconscious mind is like a recorder tape player. It records an experience and then when you push the button, it plays the experience back. I don't know if they, they say it here, but uh, sometimes we say, somebody says, he pushed my buttons. Push the tape and the, the behavior plays. So then we take our conscious mind and we want to talk to the subconscious mind and change the program. Now think about it this way. You have a tape player and I give you a cassette with a program. And you put the tape in and you push play. And the program is going, you say, I don't like the program. Then you go up to the tape player and you say, change the program, well, change the program. How much yelling at the tape player will cause the program to change? First we talk, then we yell, then we get mad, then we ask God to change the tape. The issue is the tape will not change by doing that. But there are ways to change the program if you know how to push the record button. There are